Hey, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Sensible Decor. I hope you are doing well. Um, today's craft, we're going to do some coasters. Now, these are ceramic tiles that I picked up or that I had. Um, I know that they come from Lowe's. I'm going to go ahead and upcycle these. I've had them for quite some time. Now, they were gray, and I took some time and painted them. It um, didn't take much, just a little acrylic paint. Um, I gave them two coats and let them dry. And so for today's uh, supplies, we're going to need a painted tile. Um, if you're going to do it, I use some Americana acrylic paint. Gave it two coats. And that was that. Now for the napkins. As you can see, my napkin it has four images on it. Um, so I'm going to be able to do four tiles with one napkin as long as everything goes well. But to prepare the napkin, this is really simple, you guys. Um, these napkins came out of the Dollar Tree. You're simply gonna peel back the, the layers. And this is a three-ply napkin, so it has three plies to it. And to get, that, to get the plies loose, simply just put a little water there on your, on your napkin. And the towel, the plies will start to pull apart. And you just pull for one. You can always save that for cleanup or something. And then the second fly. Now be careful because it is paper. Um, but you're just simply taking off the backing so that we only have one fly. And that's that. Then uh, for these towels, we're just gonna use my pot, um, a source of heat. Um, you can use a regular iron. I, uh, I would say if you got an old iron around, um, but an iron. I have the Great Wear uh, little press, mini press. Um, and this is what I'll be using. You can get them from Amazon. I think Walmart has some. Uh, just a little small craft iron or your regular iron if you, if you have one laying around that you don't use. Uh, it still gets hot. You can use that. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, you need some protective paper. I'm simply gonna use some butcher paper. You can use any paper that is oven safe that you know that you can put in the oven that can withstand high temperatures. First, we're gonna get started making. Now I got some Mod Podge in here. Oh, and a brush. Today I'm just using a simple foam brush. And you want to Get your Mod, Mod Podge. And I would do two coats. Um, Mod Podge dries fairly quick. Um, so you don't have to wait that long. What that is. You don't have to wait long for it to dry. But I would do two coats. We're just gonna go ahead and let this dry. Like I said, I'm putting a second coat right on top of that one because I want it kind of thick. So now what we're going to do, and we're going to do this in two parts, the bottom half and then the top half. So we're just going to place our napkins over the tile. And the center line where the napkins, where the, the fold of the napkins, you can use that as a, as a guide. All right, guys, so it looks like I lost my audio and my phone went into some kind of funky slow mode. So I'm doing some creative editing here, but I'm going to just talk you through it. This is the stage in which we use our iron to go ahead and heat the napkin up to the tile. And so what you see me doing is just using my napkin, my iron and going over the paper and that paper is not needed, so I just got rid of that. But I'm gonna use the iron and go over the whole surface of the towel. I'm doing one towel at a time, and I wanna make sure that every inch of the towel is heated with the iron. Because once the glue is heated, it's going to make the napkin stick to the towel. So any areas that do not receive heat, the tile will not stick to the napkin or the napkin will not stick to the tile. And so I am just going back over this first tile 
and I'm gonna gonna iron this until I am satisfied that the napkin is adhered to the tile and to check it you can just pull up on it and if any areas lift up then you should apply more heat but if it's firmly affixed to the tile then you can move on I'm just lifting up on the napkin to see if it if it gives me resistance. If it gives me some resistance, then I know that it's adhered. If it lifts straight up, then I know that we need to apply more heat. But I think we are good around these edges. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need just a little bit of water. And I have a paintbrush. Uh, so what we're going to do is we need to go ahead and separate the napkins um, from being one piece. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try to use this end of my paintbrush, which is a very small brush. And I'm just going to come in, in between, and start applying a little water. enough. I had a bigger brush. Okay. You can see it's starting to tear. And we want to be very gentle with it. But we do want to separate them. separates one all right good enough so now what we're gonna do and this is something I did not tell you that you needed was a nail file and I have two in the nail file uh, we're gonna use to smooth this paper away and give us a smooth edge and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these over here put a piece of paper down and gently, and this is just a regular nail file. We're just going to file away, away from you. Not a lot of pressure, but just enough. And then you'll see that the paper will start to will start to separate. Hopefully I'm on camera. It'll start to separate from the tile. Okay. And there. Gives you a nice smooth edge. Nice smooth finish there. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. And you're just giving it a, putting a little pressure behind it. Okay. Same thing on this side. And you want to make sure that you're going in one direction. You don't want to be going up and down because then you're going to disrupt your, your tile, your napkin on the front. So just down. You can give it a rub if you got a stubborn part or stubborn piece. Okay. But that's what we want. In the same... this side you're just going all the way down and then you see how that paper is just separating but it's leaving us with a smooth edge you should also have one of these same difference it goes a little bit faster so check that out so how cool is that um thankful and blessed um 
and it's, it's on here. It looks like it's made, it feels like it's made right into this tile. It's so smooth. And last one, and you see why I did this over the paper, because there is a little cleanup, but it makes it easy. But there we go, okay? So I am just going to clean all of this up. So our triple thick, I did not tell you when we were talking about the supplies, I was moving so fast. I did not tell you about the the triple thick clear clear glaze. Triple thick crystal clear glaze. It's a mouthful. But it's made by Krylon. And you really should do this outside, which I am going to. It's a little rainy out. But just to show you, because you need to do this in a well-ventilated area. So you can just take a piece of cardboard or something, place them on a, a piece of flat cardboard, set them on the ground or something. And then I'm giving them a light spread. And I would let it dry, <clears throat> y'all. We ain't doing no more of that. I would let that dry for um, a good 10 minutes or so, 20 minutes, I believe, and then you can do another coat. But I would do, I would say, maybe three coats, um, letting it dry in between the coats, and then you're done. Uh, well, you're not done. We would do the finish on the back, and the finish on the back, uh, we're gonna use some cork board, you can use cork board or you can use felt. You would just turn the tile over and we'll put the, the backing on there. And you definitely want something on there because you don't want this scratching your furniture. The whole point of this is to protect your furniture. Uh, when someone has a beverage from rings and whatnot from the glass. So you definitely want something on the back of this because these ceramic tiles are very, uh, they're heavy. These have a nice weight to them. They're just like the bathroom tiles. That's exactly what they are. We're just repurposing them, but they're heavy. And so you don't want them as they're moved around on your furniture or anything to scratch your furniture. Uh, but see how nicely these came out. And I'll come back with the finished product after they dry and have all of the coats on them. But I think that those are nice. I think that they're a winner winner chicken dinner as a, a nice little uh, sensible decor. Um, but these look great. So we'll come back. I'll come back after um, I get the uh, cork board on the back of them after I get the, the triple thick, all of my finishes on there and the cork board on the back to uh, protect the fence, to protect my tables. And that'll be it. All right. So see you soon. All right, friends, we are back. Our coasters are done. They're still a little wet, but they are done. And here is our finished product. All right. Um, they all came out very nice. I love the color. I love, love, love this color. I'm into orange and browns. At one point I was into purple, but now my thing is orange. So we have all four of them done. And we got a little glare from the light. Turn a little bit of that off. But you can see that we put the varnish, um, the triple thick on. And gave it a nice smooth finish. I went ahead and put the cork boards on. Um, when they really dry, I'll trim those up a little bit better. The cork boards. And I even took the time to do a little basket. Now this little basket is something that you um, can do to, to have a place to hold your coasters, uh, to display them when they're not in use. I think that's a great idea. I got that little basket or crate from the Dollar Tree. Just a plain little crate. Um, I put a little stain on it. Put a little polyurethane or some um, polyacrylic, polyacrylic on this to seal it in. Uh, give it a little shine. 
and threw on a bow and some ribbon. Threw on some wired ribbon and a bow. And how cute is that to just sit on your table? Um, and when your guests come, you have um, some coasters, place for them to rest their beverage instead of resting it directly on your furniture, which is the point of this. This is sensible decor. It's sensible. This makes sense, okay? And this is something that you can make um, if you are so inclined. If not, it is something that you can buy because I definitely sell things like this. But how unique is it? You don't, you know, this is not something that you're going to see at someone else's home. This is not something that someone else is going to come to your home and see. Um, you know, um, they, they know that these are unique when they see those. So I think that they're cute. I think that they're sensible. If you have um, any questions, feel free to drop that in the uh, comment section. Um, and I'll be sure to answer your questions. Um, if you like and enjoy the, the content that um, I brought today, then please be sure to hit the like button. Um, also, subscribe. Make sure that you subscribe. Let me know um, that you're watching. And then hit the notification button. So when a video drops, when, when it's time to craft, you'll be notified. And uh, you can craft with me. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate you crafting with me and coming to hang out while I do what I enjoy doing. Um, until we meet again, peace.